Eid Mubarak, Taqabal Minna wa Minkum. May Allah accept from you, may Allah accept from us, inshallah. Zakallah, I see, mashallah, big crowd, mashallah, mashallah. So, inshallah, we'll start at 9.05. We do have a shahada, so inshallah, we'll do the shahada first at 9, inshallah, and then we'll have our prayer at 9.05, inshallah. A couple of announcements. Uh, the Eid Carnival, which was on Sunday, um, unfortunately, we'll have to postpone it because of the rain. So, inshallah, the carnival will be postponed, and we'll let you know the next date. We're looking at when, inshallah, we, ha we can have the next date available. So, right now, inshallah, the, the carnival that was supposed to be this Sunday, it will be postponed, rescheduled, and we'll let you know. Um, I know that many of you have purchased uh, bands and the tickets and all of this. Keep those bands in those tickets. Please do not return. Inshallah, we will have a carnival. It's just going to be rescheduled, inshallah. Um, as you know that May 6th is the voting day for City of Plano. We have PISD uh, election, we have the city members election. We want the community to vote. We want this community to show up. Last time, as you know, EPIC is a polling station this year, just like last year. Last year we had close to 900 votes. Inshallah, this year our goal is to get to 2,000. There are more than 3,000 members here in, in, in our area, and we have to show up. Believe it or not, every single city official standing for the election, they are looking at those numbers. How many people show up at, at these polling stations? So we are a polling station. Let's, inshallah, show that, yes, EPIC community wants to be engaged. We want to be involved, and especially, as you know, the local elections, the, the school elections, the city council elections, they are very, very important. So I request all of you, those who are voting members, please, inshallah, you will vote on May 6th. And also there is early voting starting, I believe, on this Monday. So if you cannot come on May 6th, please do the early voting. Inshallah, we will start in next, uh, inshallah, in a couple of minutes, inshallah, with the shahada. And then we'll have, inshallah, the prayer. Eid Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I need this. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, we have a, a, a shahada today. Brother Juan, can you come forward? Brother Juan? He's coming in the back. Okay. You know, this month, subhanAllah, in this month of Ramadan, we have had more shahadas in our epic history than since we began. Alhamdulillah, we have had almost 25 shahadas in this last 30 days. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. And inshaAllah ta'ala, this is a sign, inshaAllah ta'ala, that not only are our youth doing a very good job because almost all of these shahadas were done organically by our own youth interacting with their friends, but also alhamdulillah of the beauty and of the blessing things that Allah has given us in this uh, community. So Alhamdulillah, Bismillah. You can come as well, come in as well. Your name is? Your name is? Talha. MashaAllah, Talha is Juan's friend, right? Juan, right? Okay. So Juan, I have a, a question for you. Juan, how long have you been studying Islam? For about nine months now. Nine months, yeah. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. And Talha is your friend here, Alhamdulillah, right? Yes. Alhamdulillah. So what has attracted you to Islam? Um, when I first read it, and uh, when I keep reading it, it always touches my heart. So reading, reading, yeah. reading what? Uh, the Quran. Reading the Quran. So reading the Quran just touched your heart. Yes. And you knew that you wanted to embrace Islam. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Do you know you just happened to choose the one day of the year that is our Eid and Holy Day? We have the maximum capacity here for you and for our Eid. Alhamdulillah. Did you know this, or it just so yes, happened? Oh, Alhamdulillah. So you wanted to convert. So this is the real Eid. This brother has the full Eid, mashallah, alhamdulillah. We are so happy, alhamdulillah, you're converting, alhamdulillah. But I just have to make sure you are converting of your own free will. You really want to embrace the faith? Yes. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So repeat after me. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa. Wa. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna. Anna Muhammadan Muhammadan Rasulullah Rasulullah I testify I testify that there is no god except Allah There's no god except Allah except Allah and that Muhammad and that Muhammad peace be upon him peace be upon him is his final messenger is his final messenger Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Alhamdulillah welcome to our faith Alhamdulillah today you will be hugged by more people than you've ever been hugged in your whole life but it's gonna have to wait until after the salah but let me be the first to hug you welcome to our faith Alhamdulillah 
Today, Brother Juan, this is your real Eid. This is the Eid that none of us have. You have the best Eid today. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven all of your sins. You today, right now, are more blessed and pious than any of us because you have zero sins. You are cleansed, you are clean. So you are right now, alhamdulillah, better than all of us. And this is your real Eid. Inshallah, this will be the first of many, 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 many more Eids. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use you to guide your friends and family and others to our faith. And we are here as your extended family. Anything you need. Zakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum. One more takbirat. One more takbirat. One more. Yeah, one more. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar La ilaha illa Allah Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Wa lillahi alhamd Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلا لا إله إلا الله ولا نعبد إلا إياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون لا إله إلا الله وحده صدق وحده ونصر عبده وأعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلا لا إله إلا الله ولا نعبد إلا إياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون لا إله إلا الله وحده صدق وعده ونصر عبده وأعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله إن شاء الله I'm going to ask all of us to please stand up and work your way forward the entire gymnasium is full we have people outside so please try to minimize the gaps. We're going to give a few seconds for the brothers in the back to walk forward and for the gaps in the uh, gymnasium and in the facility hall to fill up, inshallah. Please keep on moving forward. If there's any gap, then tell the person behind you to fill it up. Especially in the gymnasium, keep on walking forward. Brothers, sisters upstairs, keep on walking forward. There are people outside, so we want to make sure that we can get as many as we can inside. <laughs> Salat al-Eid consists of two rak'ahs, 
with extra takbirat. After the first takbirah, I will do seven takbirat. And then when we get up again in the second rak'ah, I will say Allahu Akbar and then do an additional five takbirat at that point. Uh, also, after the salah, there is a very short khutbah, insha'Allah, insha'Allah, less than 10 minutes. So please be patient. And then insha'Allah, uh, there is no sunnah uh, before or after the Eid. So after that, you may stand up and greet and uh, work your way out. We do have two other Eid salahs taking place. صلاة العيد أفابكم الله استو اعتدلوا الله أكبر 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 الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصلى النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر 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 
الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين هل أتاك حديث الغاشية وجوه يومئذ خاشعة عاملة ناصبة تصلى نارا حامية تسقى من عين آنية ليس لهم طعام إلا من ضريع لا يسمن ولا يغني من جوع وجوه يومئذ ناعمة لسعيها راضية في جنة عالية لا تسمع فيها لاغية فيها عين جارية فيها سرر مرفوعة وأكواب موضوعة ونمارق مصفوفة وزرابي مبثوثة أفلا ينظرون إلى الإبل كيف خلقت وإلى السماء كيف رفعت وإلى الجبال كيف نصبت وإلى الأرض كيف سطحت فذكر إنما أنت مذكر لست عليهم بمسيطر إلا من تولى وكفر فيعذبه الله العذاب الأكبر إن إلينا إيابهم ثم إن علينا حسابهم الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الله أكبر 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 كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة وأصيلا لا إله إلا الله وحده صدق وعده ونصر عبده وأعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا إله إلا الله ولا نعبد إلا إياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون الله أكبر الله أكبر for every blessing he has given us الله أكبر for having guided us to Islam 
Allahu Akbar for having blessed us to be in the Ummah of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahu Akbar for choosing us to be of the Ummah of the Quran. Allahu Akbar for granting us so many blessings. Allahu Akbar for our health. Allahu Akbar for our families. Allahu Akbar for our wealth. Allahu Akbar for our safety and security. Allahu Akbar for every single blessing. The blessings we recognize and see and the blessings we are oblivious to even though we still have them. Today, brothers and sisters, is the day of Eid. Today is the day of joy. Today is the day of celebration. Today is the day of fine clothes, of perfume, of good garments. Today is the day of happiness. We have spent an entire month in the worship of Allah. We have struggled, we have toiled, we have fasted, we have stood in salah, we have read the Quran, we have lived ethically better lives, morally better lives in this last month. And today we reap some of the blessings of that month. We enjoy some of the pleasures that Allah has told us to enjoy. Dear Muslims, in this cycle and routine of Ramadan and Eid, is a parable and lesson for us for our life. Ramadan represents our entire life if we live it properly. And Eid and the happiness of Eid and the joy of Eid represents Allah's blessings on the day of judgment when we are rewarded for having lived ethical and moral lives. Dear Muslims, it is as if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us all to taste the realities of this dunya and the next. The happiness we feel now, the joy, the jubilation, the fine clothes, the good perfumes, the great foods, love of the family. Can you imagine the happiness we will feel insha'Allah on the day of judgment when our books are handed to us in the right hand? Allah says the person is going to hold the book up and say, Look at the results. I passed. I passed the results. Allah, I knew, I knew Allah would test me. I knew I would meet Allah. Allah Azza wa Jal says on the day of judgment, the righteous people, yanqalibu ila ahlihi masrura. They're going to come back to their families so happy and overjoyed. They're going to come back beaming and smiling. Like today, we are all going to go back to our families happy and overjoyed, beaming and smiling. Why? Why are we so happy? Because Allah blessed us with one more Ramadan. Allah blessed us with one more month of worship. And when you worship Allah, you are blessed in this world before the next. O oh Muslims, Ramadan shows us so many things. It shows us that it is very, very doable to live better lives, to live ethical lives, to live virtuous lives. In this month of Ramadan, we all raised the bar. We were better in our routine with Allah. We were better with our personal sins. We were better with our anger management, controlling our tongue. And we liked it, we loved it, we appreciated it. So we felt better in Ramadan and we feel good on the day of Eid. Ramadan shows us you can combine this world and the next. In Ramadan it is true, we fasted, we prayed, but we still enjoyed iftars, we still enjoyed good meals, we still enjoyed family. And this is our religion. You live a good life and you prepare for the next. It's not Allah doesn't want you to live difficult lives. Ramadan showed us that you can be a good Muslim and you can enjoy this world. When Ramadan finishes, we continue this routine. Dear Muslims, Ramadan showed us that worshipping Allah is not difficult. Yes, it's not the easiest thing, but it's not difficult. We can do it. And the same goes when Ramadan finishes, praying five times a day, fasting one month, giving our charity once a year, avoiding the major sins. That's the bare minimum. Let's strive to get to that level and we will feel good about ourselves throughout the year and we will enjoy the real Eid, which is going to be the Eid of the Akhirah. Brothers and sisters, Ramadan showed us that even if we're not perfect, there are ways to make up. If one night we didn't pray the best, the next night we can make up. Similarly in our lives, if we make a mistake, if we fall short, there are ways we can make that up, do extra good deeds. Zakatul Fitr, which we give in Ramadan, is meant to purify us from the sins of Ramadan. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us free bonus points. If you fail one question, if you fall short in one area, Allah allowed us other areas you can make up for it. Here's some bonus points. You're not good here? Okay, be good in this area. Religion, dear Muslims, religion is what makes our life feel good. Religion ennobles us. Religion gives us dignity. Belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us a spiritual blessing and a spiritual happiness that Ramadan has introduced to us now that Ramadan is over dear Muslims don't give up that spirit continue that spirit so that the happiness you're feeling on Eid we will feel infinitely happier on the day of judgment this whole life is like a type of Ramadan we struggle we fall short sometimes but we keep on struggling and trying we do our best to live up at least to a standard and if we do this then inshallah this happiness we're feeling today will be perpetual happiness we we want the real Eid of the hereafter. We want the happiness where it's going to be a permanent happiness. And the only way to do that is to be conscious of Allah outside of Ramadan as we were inside of Ramadan. Dear Muslims, one or two simple points before we conclude. Of the most important aspects that we should be celebrating today, and Allah mentions this in the Quran. You praise Allah because He has guided you. The best blessing that we have is the blessing of Iman, the blessing of knowing who created us, the blessing of how to live our lives, the blessing of having a code of conduct handed to us. Look around you, look at the instability in the world around us. Look at the emptiness, the spiritual emptiness. Look at the lack of dignity, the lack of morality. Look at where society is heading. And don't look down at them. Feel a sense of pity and compassion and thank Allah that He has blessed you with a sense of dignity, a sense of respect, a sense of knowledge of how to live your life and then try your best to live that life so that people see the dignity of Islam in you. That's my first point. The second point, dear Muslims, concentrate on your families. Your families are your most precious blessing after Islam. After religion, the next best blessing Allah has given us is the blessing of family. Maintain the family. Maintain husbands, be husbands to your wives. Wives, be wives to your husbands. Parents, be parents to your children. This is how we're going to keep our religion and our society stable. The family is the building block of society. Concentrate on the family. Love the family. Spend time and money on the family. Make sure you keep the family bond strong, O Muslims. This is one of the most important blessings that Allah has gifted you with after Islam. And it is a blessing you must cherish. And on this day of Eid, shower them with some extra love. You want your children to feel the blessings of Eid on this day. And my third and final point brothers and sisters is that as we are gathered here today alhamdulillah thumma alhamdulillah celebrating this blessed month alhamdulillah happiness and joy is in the atmosphere but we must remember our brothers and sisters around the world who are being deprived of these blessings that we take for granted. How many millions of people around the world, how many millions of Muslims, some of them expelled from their lands. They're still Muslims, but they don't have a land and home because of civil war, bombs falling. Others amongst them, they might even be able to practice Islam, but they don't have food to feed their families because of famine and war. Yet others, their identity is being stripped away and to Rabbinical regimes are forcing them to renounce Islam even as Islam is strong in their heart they're not allowed to celebrate Eid millions of people around the world are in different struggles and problems the least we can do acknowledge those issues make dua to Allah to make it easy for them and appreciate the blessings that Allah has given us Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar la ilaha illallah wa lillahi alhamd Allahumma inni da'in fa'aminu Allahumma la tadra'a fi hadhi yawm bi dhamban illa ghafarta wa la hamman illa farrajta ولا دينا إلا قضيت ولا مريضا إلا شفيت اللهم تقبل منا صيامنا اللهم تقبل منا قيامنا اللهم تقبل منا سجودنا وركوعنا اللهم اجعلنا من اعتقائك من النار اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين يا حي يا قيوم يا ذا الجلال والإكرام عباد الله إن الله تعالى أمركم بأبن بدأ به بنفسه وثنى بملائكة قدسه وثلث بكم أيها المؤمنون من جنه وإنسه فقال عز من قائل عليما إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما 
Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all on this day of Eid. Taqabbal Allahu minna wa minkum salih al-amal. You may stand up and congratulate one another. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.